Hi everyone. Today I am unboxing from NBJU a bark training collar for that guy back there. <laughs> um, he barks whenever someone knocks on the door or when he hears like certain things outside and it's just we have tried everything. We tried treats. I try caging him up and he just is not getting it. So we're going to try a bark collar. I kind of feel bad, but it just vibrates and makes noises. Um, there is an option to shock, but I will not be using that. I don't like using that um, feature, but it does have it as an option. This is what it looks like coming out of the package. Get it out. Okay. And it's adjustable strap, so this will fit any size dog. It's a long strap. So, they have a quick setup and it comes with charging cable. So, this one is rechargeable, which I did like. Um, trying to get the batteries, usually they are not very like a standard battery. So, then you're trying to like have those on, like trying to get those and have those at the house isn't always easy. So, I did like this one. This one's rechargeable, and then it also comes with different sizes um, to add to the prongs. So you can cover the prongs completely, and this is a kit to help remove them. And you can change the size of the prongs to smaller if you can see that, which I probably will be doing. And yeah, so let's see. How do I turn it on? Okay, and then on the front has two buttons, power button, and let's see what the other button does. Probably sets, set up how you want to use it. Okay, so the power button that you see right here with the um, M on it and the power sign next to it right here, this is the power on and off and also checking and switching modes. And then the other one adjusts the level and enters setting mode. Then once we have it turned on, let's see if it's charged. It may need charged first. There'll be an LED display. Or do I have to pull something out? Let's see. We have the sound trigger has one to seven level sensitivity. Then you have sleepy mode, so no barking for five seconds. Sleep mode begins. Training mode, dog is barking. Training mode is back activated. You have the beep, always exists and cannot be canceled. No level setting for the beeps. The vibration has a zero to seven and zero is off and the default is three. And then the e-shock is zero to seven, zero is off, and default is zero. So you cannot shock on accident, which is good because I don't really want to use shock. A lot of options for sensitivity, which I do like because I have tried some in the past and just like small noises would make it go off. And so then I'm like, he's not really learning his barking it was just like if my boyfriend was being too loud it would go off and so that was obviously too high of a sensitivity so I like that there's all these sensitivities and so we can really hopefully I can really find the right one for our dog I am going to charge the collar read through the manual and then I'll show you how it works I have it charged I read through the manual so a couple things I wanted to mention that it is waterproof. I didn't mention that before and I was, that was another feature that I really, really was happy about. Um, the battery lasts in standby for up to 15 days. You shouldn't have them wear it for longer than 12 hours. So I would take this off at night obviously, so they can have a break from it. Um, for location, it does need to be right in the front on the throat. Um, and make sure you're checking the area too if you are having them wear it every single day and keep these clean um i'm gonna change mine out so if you want to see that let's use this tool 
can get those. Okay. Actually, these are the shorter ones. So, we'll keep that one on there. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the covers on. Just like that. Okay, and let's turn it on. So you hold the power button in. And there it shows you. Um, I believe the first light is their battery level. So I'm at seven. And then we can press the setting button um, three times. Okay, and then it shows you the three modes. So the first one is sensitivity. Oops, pressed it too many times. <laughs> sensitivity. Um, facts words, but that, that's a two. And then if you want it, and then the vibration is also on a two. If you want to change it, you just press this button. Sorry, they are backwards. So that's two. And then the vibration I have on two. And then I'm having the shock off. And then to test it, we will... Back. So yeah, you heard a beep. And then it vibrates. I can feel it vibrate. And then so after six times yes after six times it will do a minute break so even if your dog's still barking it will do a whole minute pause just because that is a lot on your dog so I like that they have that feature too um, I hope it doesn't come to that. I hope he does realize to stop barking and we don't have to use that. But that is nice that, you know, he's not going to keep getting vibrated and beeping. Um, he can have like a little bit of a break, um, especially if you're going to want to use the shock. That would be um, wise. Um, and then you can also use this to test the shock by just putting it on here. Um, I guess I can. I could try and show you that. Even though I'm not going to use it. Oops, I have to wake up. Oh, it's still paused. I have to wait a minute. <laughs> this is great. I love that you can change the sensitivity um, and all the levels um, instead of just only one thing for everything. Um, so I hope it this doesn't have false triggering. I hope that that will help. This feels really sturdy and really um, strong. And then the waterproof fits in really nice in the charging area. Once I get this to fit his size, I can cut this off and it'll really fit him really well. So this seems like it's a really nice sturdy product. Um, let me see if I'm out of paused. I am. So let's do, okay. And then I'm going to do just a level one on shock. And so then I blow into the sensor. And then I put this on so you can see it. I didn't see any light. I didn't see a light. Maybe I'll turn it up. Put it up on a three. Hmm. Not seeing the shock. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. Seven.
Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm paused. One second. Well, one minute. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> you can see it works. I think the cover's off. Um, so this, the guidelines also say that for sensitive small dogs, you should really only use the beep and the vibration on a lower setting. And then if they're not being, if it's not working, then you can still use all the settings, but just really on a low setting because they're just small. Um, those higher settings are really just for larger dogs. So I'm going to make sure I put mine back to zero. There. And yeah, so I'm going to be using this. Um, and hopefully we have a no barking dog. I do have a baby on the way, so we don't want him waking her up, but, um, that's all for this review. Thanks for watching. Let's see your collar. See your pretty collar. <laughs> Sit. There it is on. Can't really see with all your fur. There it is. <laughs>